Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance, where I show you how to make the most likely repairs you'll need to make in your lifetime. If you'd like to get the latest videos, subscribe, and then hit the little bell icon right at the subscribe button, and it'll notify you of any new videos when they're released for Welcome you. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Wanted to show you the AC relay air conditioner contact for not pulling in the five most common causes, and wanted to go through this. Now, I have a troubleshooting video portion coming up to show you the actual troubleshooting of a unit and cutting to the chase on figuring out the AC relay relay but when you have a contactor that won't pull in you got about five most common causes of the contactor not pulling in and there may be something I missed something else and if you think of that please leave it in the comments below as others can learn from it but the most common causes are a bad thermostat so it's not sending a signal across the wire bad wiring somewhere there's a disconnected wire there's a burned wire lead whatnot it's not getting a contact across the, the wiring uh, third is a bad contactor itself. The contactor is burned out uh, so that it's not able to pull the solenoid in and, and bridge the leads, making the relay passing on the uh, signal for the uh, contactor to pull in and bridge the leads for the high voltage. Uh, fourth is a, is a bad transformer. Now, the reason I said bad contactor first, if you have a bad transformer, you always want to replace the contactor first because uh, if you don't, if it's a bad contactor that caused the bad transformer, it'll fry that new transformer right away. Um, and then the fifth is a bad five minute delay. Not all units have them, but they're pretty common on a lot of systems and it's a, most often a delay on break. And if that five minute delay is bad, then you're not going to get signal. So now I'm going to go through an actual troubleshooting uh, scenario and show you uh, what it was and cut to the chase for a bad relay to make it happen get that signal and restore right. nice. air conditioning. Palm Springs day got some tree trimming going on got an AC not cooling here gonna go ahead and pull the disconnect and take a look go ahead and pull it there what the best way is in here. Take a look. Let's see. Contactor is not pulled in. Capacitors look pretty tired. And don't see any burned wires. Looks like the original contactor. Capacitor looks really old, a little different style, round one. I'll go ahead and plug it in. We'll pull the push the contactor in manually and see what happens. and cold that's good so I'm gonna go inside and turn it on and then gonna pull the disconnect here probably gonna be changing those capacitors it's possible that they're hitting this on when they're starting but uh, let's see right. okay gone ahead and turned it on inside the unit See if the contactor is pulled in. Contactor is not pulled in. So, looks like we probably have a possibly have a bad contactor. Even pushing in manually didn't pull it in. I'm going to discharge the capacitor. We've got the unit pulled. Capacitor holds a charge in it even after the power anyway. is disconnected. So that's why it's and important to discharge. Let's see if we have voltage safety. from the thermostat. It's possible we have a bad thermostat. If we have 24 volts on the thermostat on the contactor, uh, it comes in on the sides. That's your low voltage control. It's a relay. It uh, sucks in, bridges the leads for the high voltage. So we're going volts AC on the contactor, and we're going one to each side. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've got 3.5 volts. That's not enough voltage. One point four volts is not enough. Uh -oh. So now we either have a bad transformer or we have a bad thermostat. We've got nine volts. Two point nine volts. Uh -oh. ay, ay, ay. Okay, it's not good. But you can see on the sides here and here, that's where we're testing for voltage. Uh, and check this five minute delay as well. Sometimes those go bad. But usually a tap on them and we'll uh, restore. Stuck one. That's not not affecting us at all. Eight volts, four volts. No good. So check here. Ten six volts. This uh Five minute delay. It just separates the contact here. Could jump that just to verify. Oh, that's what it was. It's just a five minute delay. Look at that. So we got a bad five minute delay. Now the thermostat has a five minute delay built into it. So technically we don't need it there. So I'm just going to bridge these leads. And that fixed our problem. Five minute delay. I could re replace it, but I don't have a this one's a delay on break. I have a delay on make, but I don't have a delay on break. Again, the thermostat's got one built into it. So we can test our voltage now. We got 24 volts. That's good. The original contactor's still kicking. Got a weird. Oh yeah, I got 29 volts. Show you here. You can see it right there. So we're getting our voltage. We're good there. And now, because I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and check our. Capacitors. I know they're working, but you know it looks pretty tired, and I'd rather not get a call back here. So let's go ahead and pull them and check them. bit of a bulge on it too so I'm probably just going to be replacing it. I'll check it. Okay. Okay, here's our 
Mike Ferrer test, and this one's a 35. Like I said it's got a bit of a bulge on it, so. a little bit higher and make it a little tricky to fit in there but thirty-four point twelve that's good. Okay yeah I got a bad cap. Oy. Glad we found that compactor. That could have been a wild goose chase for a while. Could have wasted a, an hour messing with the thermostat. All kinds of other stuff. So that's a good find. There's that one. our hard start leads. It's not going anywhere. Done deal. Okay. And now for our fan capacitor. For sure, here. That's 
a funny little capacitor though. Just a little bit outside of the arm. That one you could take it or leave it, can, but I'm going to change it. Test it from where it's at and all. There we go. Okay, I'm not gonna go anywhere, I'm not gonna touch anything. It's a done deal. It's not my preferred way, but it's done. Okay, people are looking for ACs. So here we go.
I've actually found another screw for this. Yeah. 